All right, what's going on guys? So it is day number three, fishing session number five of my Minneapolis to Chicago fishing road trip. Uh, today we are in Wisconsin. My first time ever fishing Wisconsin. I've got this little creek picked out, although it doesn't look all that promising. Uh, when I looked on Google Maps last night, the most recent picture on Google Maps was taken here in 2013. So it seems like some things have changed in the last uh, 10 years. But off to the side of the creek, there's this little isolated pool, which really is more like a pond because there's a pretty good distance between the creek and the pool or pond, whatever. And there's some catfish down there. So we're going to try to get one of these little catfish. Uh, I'm going to hope that it's a black bullhead because I've never caught one of those before. Uh, we'll see what happens if we get it. Great. Um, then identifying it's going to be a little difficult, but we'll see if we can do that. Uh, and then maybe we'll fish the creek. I don't know. I got a couple spots picked out in this area that we can fish. So we'll see what happens. But let's go ahead and let's get this session started. All right, so here's the little secluded pond. Looks to be about, I don't know, 50 feet that way is the creek. Uh, I can see really a lot of catfish down here. Maybe you can see them, they're really dark with this little sandy light background. You can see a lot of them. There's a couple dozen in there at least. I saw a couple turtles and I saw one of some other type of fish species. But let's see if we can get one of these catfish, which I think should be pretty easy. Of course, as I say that, I probably just jinxed myself and now it's going to be difficult to catch these guys. But let me drop this little bit of red worm down there. And let's see if we can catch one. Got him see what this is and let's see if we can ID it. All right, so there is our little catfish. It was actually pretty easy to catch. It's definitely a bullhead. It has a square tail. It has black chin barbel, so it's not a yellow bullhead. Uh, now really the only question is if it's a black or a brown. I'm pretty sure if you count the anal rays, you can tell them apart. That's going to be rather difficult on something that is this small. I'm not sure of another way. Hopefully there is another way. But I'll take some pictures of this little guy. And we'll see if we can ID him after the fact. So, not a bad start. We got to fish here pretty quickly. Let's get this cute little guy back. Uh, maybe I'll fish the creek here. I don't know. But yeah, let's get this guy back and let's see what, what we do next. Got another one. Let's get this guy in the photo tank. Looks to be another catfish. All right, so fish number two, definitely another catfish, and looks to be another bullhead. Maybe they're blacks. I don't know. I know brown bullheads a lot of times have like a like a spotted pattern, especially the southern bullheads. But even in the north, they have a little bit of a, like a marbling to them. And this guy doesn't have that. The last fish didn't have that either. I guess they could be white catfish, which also have square tails. I'm not sure. I'm going to hope that these are black. Hopefully, I could ID them later. But when they're this small, that's always difficult. But all right, let's get this guy back. I don't think we're really going to catch anything else besides catfish out of this little pond here. Um, so let's give that little creek a try. Let's see what we can get over there. All right, so here is the creek. And I think I mentioned in the intro, but it doesn't look all that promising. This is actually the second spot that I've tried on this creek. The first spot was about a mile upstream and that was even worse, but very murky water. The bottom's very muddy and silty. Um, 
Let me just drop this down here. I can't see what I'm doing. Whenever I'm targeting new species like this micro fishing, I always like to sight fish for them. And that doesn't appear like it's gonna be an option here on this creek. But maybe I'll try moving around a little bit and try to find some better water here. All right, so I think we're gonna call it here on this creek. It's really tough, really murky. It's also really deep here close to shore. I've had to kind of hug the bank as I've been walking and no sign of any fish. So we're calling it here. Unfortunately, let me drive over and try to find another spot to fish. All right, now this is much more my, my pace, my speed. Little creek, very weightable. You can see some shiner type things down there already. They're freaking out a little bit because they did see me. Let me see if I can, oh, they're, they're scurrying away. Let me see if I can catch one of those guys. But this looks like we can, we can make something happen here. got him let's take a look at what this thing is alrighty so this is gonna be a nootropis shiner and you know what that means right really really difficult to identify so there's several different nootropis genus shiners in this area I don't know if it's a sand or not I could probably look at the uh, the line on top top of the uh, in front of the dorsal fin to double check if it's a sand that's going to be disappointing but maybe it's a different type so i'll try to get an id on it later but as with all nootropis shiners this might be impossible at least for me so let's get a pick of this guy let's get him back let's see what else is in this little tree. This is another shiner. There's two really small darters down there I was trying to catch for the last 10, 15 minutes. These shiners are getting in the way. Oh, this might be a different species. Maybe just a really thin juvenile sand, because I'm pretty sure that last one was a sand. All right, so all the sand shiners, I shouldn't say all, most of the sand shiners I've caught in the past have been a little bit bigger than this, and I think sand shiners are a little bit more deep bodied. However, I do believe this is going to be a sand shiner, because if you look at the top of the dorsal, let me just double check real quick. Um, actually, no. Is it? Yeah, well, maybe. If you look at the top of the dorsal, it doesn't come out well on camera, but there, most of these shiners have a really thin, a uh, dark stripe in front of the dorsal fin. And on sand shiners, they get a little bit wider as you get right in front of the dorsal. And it looks like on this one, it does get a little bit wider. So I do think this is gonna be a little juvenile sand shiner, second one of the day. Got him, it's a darter. Let's go. All right, so good news is we finally got a darter. My second darter from this little road trip came out of that log right there. Now that was the good news. The bad news is I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a Johnny darter, a species that I caught for the first time two days ago. 
I'm not all that familiar with darters, but I believe that's what this guy's going to be. So I'm still happy with it, but it could be better. But I'm not gonna complain anytime I catch a darter. Really love these guys. Got him. What is this thing? All right, so this guy is a little annoying to handle, but it's gonna be a boring little creek chub. There's a deeper hole right there that I fished for maybe the last 10 minutes. I've had several bites. I caught one blunt-nosed minnow that dropped off the hook before I could get a uh, picture of him. And now we got ourselves a little creek chub. So let's see what else is in this hole. It might be some other species. Come on, now they're biting it. There we go. Let's take a look at what we got here. Alrighty, so I was right. It is a type of shiner. Looks like this is going to be a common shiner. Caught several of these over the last couple of days. All the fish I'm catching, no matter what spots I fish, it's the same exact species over and over again. Creek chub, sand shiners, common shiners. Maybe we'll find something else in here that's cool, but so far it doesn't look like it. Got him. What is this? All right, I'm telling you, same species over and over again. This appears to be a blunt-nosed minnow. Uh, second one of the day. First one, though, dropped off before I could get a picture of it, so it's the first one on camera. But yeah, same species over and over and over again, no matter where we fish. So let's get this guy back, and let's get back to it. Got him. Looks like a common shiner, I believe. All right, so you've seen enough common shiners in the photo tank, so not gonna bust that thing out for this guy. Let's get him back. Let's keep fishing. Let's hope we get something cool here besides just all the same species over and over again. There's gotta be something else out here that's a little bit cooler than all the stuff we've been catching here so far. There's some bigger fish down here. Uh, what, is, what are those? All right. There are certainly some bigger fish down here. They might be creek chubs, but I don't think they are. I think they're a little too big to be creek chubs. What are those? Got them. Got it. Oh, I lost them. Okay. You know what? I, I'm really curious what those guys are. So I think I'm going to tie on a bigger hook and see if I can key in on those guys. I'm going to be really upset if they're just creek chubs and I go through all this work for them. But I don't think they are. Alright, so I tied on a size 18 hook with a bigger piece of red worm. And while, while I was tying this on, something just occurred to me. What if these larger fish I'm seeing are just um, adult blunt-nosed minnows? They very well could be, and that will be really disappointing. But let's see if we can catch one and find out. I went weightless here, so it's just the worm sinking on its own to the bottom. 
Hopefully those fish are still here. What do we got? This is a creek chub. All right, so this is a creek chub, but I don't think this is the fish that I was seeing down there earlier. Uh, those fish were bigger than this guy. And even though they did have a, uh, a band running or a line running along the body, I don't think it was these guys. So let's throw this one back. And let's make another drop here. Hopefully we can catch those things. And hopefully they're not just creek chubs or blunt nose minnows or something. up again got him this is a common shiner I think that's not it either all right so it's another common shiner again not the species that I saw down there that one had a band or a line running along the body very clearly common shiners do not really well I mean they do kind of have that but it's not as pronounced so that's not the fish I was talking about either What is this? This is, I think this is it. Is this just a big creek chub? Uh, yeah, I think it is. All right, so this is just a big creek chub, and I'm pretty sure the fish that I thought I saw down there, or the fish I did see down there, I'm pretty sure now is just also a big creek chub. So let's get this one back. Let's work upstream a little more, uh, and let's see what we can find up there. Got him. What is this thing? All right, so this is gonna be our last creek chub of the session because I am calling it a day. Unfortunately, doesn't seem like there's any other types of fish over here, and at least none that I can see. So let's get this guy back. Let's wrap it up. And let's drive over to the next spot for the next video from Wisconsin. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. Unfortunately, all the super common species have shown up once again. Uh, the darter was cool, but I'm pretty sure that's just going to be a standard Johnny darter, which I caught a couple days ago. And off camera, I also caught one Western Black Nose Dace, which is also very common. So this, I don't, this is spot five, I think, during my little road trip here over the last couple days. And basically every spot has produced the same amount of species. I came here because online looked like someone caught uh, Southern or Northern Red Belly Dace here. I couldn't find those. So that's kind of been the story of the last several days. I find spots which other people have found certain types of fish in and I can't find those, or at least I can't catch those. Sometimes I find them and can't catch them. But of course, sometimes those people use nets and traps. Trying to catch some of these fish on, uh, on a hook is a lot more difficult than just scooping them up in a net. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys like this video. I know it's kind of like a mishmash from here in that pond, that other creek a little bit. Maybe we got a new species in that catfish, who knows. Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked it. I'll see you next time.